What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel once again. So in some previous videos, I tested out the Elego Neptune 3 and the Neptune 3 Pro, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Plus. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this opened up, we're gonna see what's inside, we'll get this set up, and let's see how this performs. All right, so I got all the pieces laid out here on the table. And as you can see, we got the user manual. You got the machine itself, the pieces, the holder for the screen, the screen itself, power cord, spool holder, all the tools I'm going to need, and the tie rods right over here. So I'll go ahead and I'll get this installed. And these are fairly easy to put together. I think the only difference for this one is the tie rods for each side. So with that being said, I'll go ahead, I'll get this put together and we'll be back right after that. So I got this all put together, which only took me about 15 minutes. It was just a matter of attaching two screws on the left and right hand side, the two tie rods on the back, just to give it a little bit more support. I had to attach all the cables, attach the filament holder up at the top and the screen holder right here, which is magnetic. And that was basically it. So I'll go ahead, I'm gonna get this turned on. We'll get this leveled, set up, and let's try out our first print. So it does come with the TF card, which I can insert right here in the front. And then to turn it on is just right on the right hand side, right on the back. Now, as far as the filament goes, Again, this is all they give you, which is not a whole lot, but I'm gonna use this anyways, and I'm just gonna run their test file, which is their little Buddha, which I've done in the past, but we're gonna do it again, because I'm really not printing anything much bigger with this tiny roll of filament, so we'll just use that, because what the heck, why not? So in order to get this leveled, all you have to do is go ahead and click on Level. I'll click Confirm and that will return it to zero. And then you will need a piece of A4 paper to place underneath. And then I can raise and lower this to where I need it. Right about there. And then you just need to go ahead and click on manual click confirm, and then I'll just need to go ahead and adjust all six knobs underneath to make sure that they are leveled. Once that's complete, I'll just click home. And now you can see that it's completed and now it will do the auto 49 point leveling system. And we'll just wait for that to go. So now that that has finished, all I need to do is hit confirm. Once again, I can place a piece of paper underneath just to check the distance. And right about there seems good. So I'll get the filament all loaded in. And we'll click load. So now that the filament's all loaded in, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on print. We'll do the Buddha and we'll click confirm. And you can see on the screen that it shows a little picture of what you're going to be printing. All right, so this little test Buddha has finished. Take a look at that, that peeled right off. And I think that came out really, really well. So 
So now that that little test piece is done, I'm going to print something a little bit bigger. And this is all the filament that was left. You can see over here that this only took an hour and eight minutes. So I'll print something much bigger. I will have to swap out the filament because there's probably only about a meter left. So I'll switch this over. I'll set up a new one and we'll go from there and we'll be back right after that. All right, so this lion has finished and this took about eight hours to print total. I did run this overnight, but let's take a look at this. And I think that came out fantastic. You can see a nice smooth bottom. I think everything came out perfect. I didn't use any supports on this. So yeah, I think that worked great. So let's go over some of the things I really like about this machine. Now this is very similar to the Elego Neptune 3 Pro that I tested in a previous video, which I'll put a link right up there if you haven't checked that out yet. But all the specs are basically the same. The only difference is basically the build size and the volume of it. And the Plus is about 100 millimeters bigger. So take that into perspective. I will line these up in a minute next to it so you can see the difference. But all the rest of the features are pretty much the same. It does have the LED light bar right above, so you can turn that on and off by just using the touchscreen. It does have the removable build plate. It has the dual lead screws in the back. It has the filament runout sensor. I think the only difference between this is this one has the two tie bars in the back, just to keep it a little bit more stable. And this one does actually have a 49 point leveling system instead of the 36 like the Pro. It does have the micro SD card right here in front, which for whatever reason, you still need to flip this upside down to put it in, along with the cable to attach to the computer if you wanna use it that way. The only thing I kinda of wish that they removed would be the knobs to level it because when you go into level, you still have to adjust these knobs underneath and on here there's six of them, three on each side. And I'm really tired of changing these knobs and rotating them. They say it's auto leveling, but to me it's really not auto leveling if you still have to manually adjust these knobs to do that, which I mean, once you do, it's pretty much set and yes, then there is auto level and it adjusts it just fine. But I really wish they would just get rid of those knobs altogether and not use them at all. I think the prints came out absolutely perfect. I mean, you can barely even see the print lines. I'm trying to get up as close as I can. They're there, obviously, but, and they're always gonna be there. But it's, it's very hard to see, and I think this came out pretty much flawless, and this is exactly what the model looked like. So I'm quite happy with how that turned out. The build volume on this is just so much bigger. This is 320 by 320 by 400 which is roughly, I don't know, 15 and a half inches high by, I don't know, 12 inches, 12 and a half inches wide. So it gives you pretty big volume to print. This came very nicely packaged as you saw. This was very easy to put together. It was only a matter of about probably 12 screws total just to screw the sides in, the tie rods in the back, and then the filament holder along with the touchscreen in front. That was pretty much it. Other than that, it was very simple. You do have the power on off switch in the back along with where the power cord goes. And it did come with everything you're gonna need in order to put this together, all the parts. It even comes with some extra nozzles in case you need to swap those out. And it did come with that tiny little roll of filament, which I wish they would start putting just a little bit, even a 250 gram roll, like the small gram that I have up top right now on there. So this machine comes in at about $350 for the Plus. Now, if you don't need it this size, I would probably go for the Pro, which is about, about $100 cheaper, and you're just getting a slightly smaller build volume. But to me, having the bigger size is definitely worth it. 
So here you can see the side-by-side -side comparison of the Pro versus the Plus. And you can obviously see that this one is significantly bigger. Both of them have the exact same features, although this one is about 100 millimeters bigger in size. So I will go ahead and I'll put a link down in the description to where you can pick up either one of these machines, depending on which one is right for you. But I definitely recommend both of them. They're both fantastic machines. They both work great. All the filament brands and kinds that I've thrown at it work perfectly, whether it be ABS over here, I got uh, polycast castable filament. This is just using PLA at the moment, but I've used it with TPU, PETG, and they all work just fine. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the bell, get notified of all the new videos that come out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.